Hello everyone, what's up everybody, this is done in my Pokemon form, and today I'm going to be doing part 5 of my reaction to Scream the Inside Story. So if you guys missed part 4, go watch that before you watch this one, but this is part 5. So I hope you guys get, if you did get to go pick this up, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get started. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Robert Robert Jackson. No, Roger Jackson. Jeez, he, his voice is really is scary. Seriously, he's creepy. I think it's really great choice that Wesley did not have any reaction to that in the Well, Scream is the one who created the one. I want to play the game. I want to play a game. Obviously, he came into his mind. What does this guy look like? 
Even some of the most gifted special effects artists in Hollywood were at a loss to find the right face for the film's iconic killer. I know that uh, they had a lot of people drawing pictures of scary things, you know, witches, goblins, monsters, vampires, and they would send them to Wes. Either Wes liked them or didn't like them. When we had our first production meeting, I took all the sketches with me and showed Wes, and, and he's like, ah, maybe this one, but I don't know. So we had our uh, art department making up masks, and we're getting closer and closer to the time to shoot. Everything that we saw it just didn't look good. It wasn't right. It didn't carry any weight. This is not a weapon, and we looked like the right mask. Once again, he was being at the right place at the right time that presented Craven with a solution. So we were scouting, and we ended up uh, scouting in the house where they saw it and shadowed it out. In that house is where I found the ghost face. It was a woman who was older, and her kids were grown up and had moved out. And I went upstairs, it was like her son's bedroom, and the ghost mask was sitting there. So we took the mask and we sent it to dimension film, and they said, oh, okay. We like that, so have your guys make one kind of like that because we don't own it. And he brought it to us and said, this is what I think I want it to be. We sculpted all different versions of one with longer chin, one with a furrowed brow, one with bigger eye sockets, one with smaller eye sockets, one with broader face. We sculpted and we sculpted and we sculpted and we sculpted. And none of the masks were looking good. You know, they just didn't have what that mask had. And I think I must have seen maybe seven different versions of it before we came to the final, but there's something about the design that is really striking and really shocking when it comes up against the mask. The thing about it is it just happens to be so archetypal. Many people compare it to Ed Barnum's The Scream. It has a mournful... That mask is so creepy. There's a Roger checks his voice is really creepy. Again, guys, Scream was what was supposed to be called Scary Movie, but then they changed the script to Scream. 
and it wouldn't be until 2000, the film that was originally supposed to be called Scary Movie, would become, would come to life in 2000. <laughs> it was really funny. Somebody in Barbara Harvey's office said, that's fine, instead of Wes Craven's scary movie, we'll just do Joe Blow's scary movie. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that does a great job. And one of the lines he said, all right, that, his name is worth $3 million. Go get him. And I went back and I said, well, it's that important. Okay, fine. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn post notifications, and leave a comment. Subscribe to your channel so my same thing. And yeah, thanks again. I'm almost close to 500 subscribers. 500 subscribers. That's a lot. For your goal, I really appreciate it. Again, this video shows my goal for each 1,000 subscribers. And 4,000 people watching. So for your goal, I really appreciate it. Thanks again. These videos are all possible to you guys. And I love you guys for your support. You can always say, and I always mean. And yeah. Also, if you guys want to watch this again, it was made by Sam Fly. I'll put the link to his original video down in the description if you guys want to watch it, like I said. But this is really getting cool. But, yeah. Alright, guys, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys for tomorrow for part 5 of my, I, part 6 of my reaction to Screen the Inside Story. Alright, guys, there you go. Goodbye, and have a good day. Fortnite.